Welcome back to another exciting tutorial here with um, Bobby Davis, the founder of Cutter Foundry. And today we're going to talk about a continuous for project that we released a little while ago. And we were building FizzBuzz with um, Blazor, which if you don't know what Blazor is, it is Microsoft's implementation of WebAssembly that allows you to run C Sharp in the browser. So it's really cool where JavaScript used to exist. Now that you can write native uh, C Sharp code inside that. What I want to do is take that project and then I want to show you how you would publish that project to Netlify. Now, if you don't know what Netlify is, Netlify is a very cool hosting service that allows you to host your server and make it on a static or a serverless type infrastructure. So it's not really complex. You don't have to worry about servers or anything like that. You can simply publish it. And, and in most cases, it reads from your GitHub um, repos. And so we're going to show you how you can use continuous employment with Netlify and it'll pull a, a Blazor project straight from a repo, which is pretty cool. So let's talk a little bit about what we have to do to set it up, some of the challenges that we're gonna run into when we're deploying Blazor, and then let's actually get to configuring Netlify, configuring GitHub, and get it working. Okay, so the first thing, let's look at this C Sharp. Now this is Visual Studio. Visual Studio 2019. And so if you don't know that you need to be on the latest version of Visual Studio to run Blazor. Okay. And um, I'm not going to show you how I'm going to build this project today. I'm just going to show you how I would set it up so I can get it ready for deployment. If you want to know how I built it, I have another video that goes through the details of building this with Blazor. So you watch the video about building it, and then you can come back and finish watching this about deployment, okay? So the couple of things that um, you'll see here that you need to understand is first, this file right here in the WW root directory is an HTML file, and the entire application runs through this file. So this is what's called a SPA or a single page application which means that all of the requests run through this HTML file. So when you deploy this to Blazor, the first thing you need to do is add something called a redirects to make sure that all of the requests are running through this HTML file. And so where you want to put that redirects file is in the WW root directory. And you just create a file called underscore redirects. It doesn't have an extension. It has no extension. So when you add this from um, inside of Visual Studio, it may try to add an extension on it, just delete that. And then it just simply needs one line. And this one line here basically tells that all of the requests for this website run through or reroute through index.html, okay? And so you're gonna need to do that to get this to work. So that's step one. So after you've done that, you can, um, your application will work, all right? So let's look at what we have to do to publish this and let's set up our publish uh, for this. So inside of, you can right click on the project here and right inside of Visual Studio, you can hit publish here. And so I'm gonna hit that and I'm just gonna walk through what I've done. I've already set this up, but this is so simple. Um, you just have a new profile here, but I'm gonna edit this one just to show you what you have to do. And basically the publish method you want to pick is file system. Okay. And file system means that I'm going to put the files necessary for this to run in a folder on my computer. Okay. And then you pick this folder right here. Okay. Now what I'm doing here, and I want to talk a little bit about this is this folder is on my desktop and I'm going to pull that over here. And you can see here, I've got a bunch of projects. I've got my eternal code directory here. And then I've got a, um, a FizzBuzz deploy folder here. And you can see this is also a Git repo. And that's very important that, um, that where we're going to publish our files to needs to be inside of a Git repo. repo excuse me. So let's talk a little bit about that. So like one of the problems you may run into is you could have your source code over here in a Git repo, and you could have a deployment directory directory inside of this application as well. And so that you could just simply uh, make your deployment and your code inside of one repo. I decided against that. I actually have two repos over here. And so if you look at on GitHub here, let me go do that. You can see here my Coder Foundry site here 
um, has a thing called Fizzbuzz Fizz Blazer Prod. And this is the Coder Foundry ads and code walkthrough and all that kind of stuff, the commercial version. And then this is Fizzbuzz Deploy or Fizzbuzz Blazer Deploy. And this just has my files for deployment. And you may be thinking, why did you do that? Why didn't you just like put it in one repo? Well, I think there could be extra steps involved. And so that I want to make sure that my commits to this and my commits to this are two separate actions. Um, because I may do other things inside this folder over here. I didn't know exactly where I was going to go. And if someone's cloning this or, re or pulling it down, I don't want them necessarily to clone all of um, the artifacts for deployment. They don't need that yet. So like they just need the code. So this makes this repo smaller. And this one just does the deployment. So that's why I did that there. But you could, in fact, if you wanted to, you definitely could do it all in one repo, but I don't. I think it's better if they're separated. Um, if you've got some comments on that, I would love to talk to some of you guys out there. If you want to comment on this approach individually, if you've got some changes, love to hear from you, and maybe we can address that later in a video. But I think this right now is works really nice, um, as you'll see here in a second. All right, so this folder that we're going to publish to is in fact a Git repo. And um, it just lives on my desk, all right? And that's all it is. If you look through the settings here, these are all the settings that came default, and that's what you want to use. And so this is release.net center 2.0 and portable. I didn't change any of that, and so you just save that. And that's what you need to do to set up publishing, okay? Now, you may ask yourself, well, why are you doing this? Why can't we just publish directly to Netlify? Well, Netlify, if you, well, if you understand what Blazor is, Blazor has to be compiled. So... And Netlify cannot build a Blazor project or WebAssembly project at the time that I'm recording this. So you have to put in a build statement, a build step before you push your files to Netlify. So you can't just copy your code here like you would um, a static HTML site with JavaScript. This code here has to be compiled. And so let's look at what that looks like. When you deploy, you're going to get a, um, let me make this bigger so you can understand it. You're going to get a bunch of code out here that Microsoft's going to put in here, and it's going to create this folder called Fizzbuzz Blazor. And then inside that, it's going to make a dist folder, which is short for distribution. And it's going to deploy these files and all of your bins in here, they need this. And this is where your code lives in the Fizzbuzz DLL. So like you need all of these files to make it run. Okay. So it's not a straight file copy like you would see for JavaScript, HTML, fight or more static fights. It has to be compiled first, and then these files need to be moved over to Netlify. So this is exactly what you're doing. Now with Netlify, you could drag and drop these files on a site, and it will work, and that's fine. But what I want to do is show you how we do continuous deployment from a GitHub repo so that I can just do this from the commit. All right? So we... Pay attention to this right here. If we look in this this um, file structure here, that this is inside of here, inside the distribution folder, is what's being deployed. Okay, if you're deploying this, it won't work. If you're deploying this file set of files, it's not going to work. Um, your deployment must point to this folder inside the distribution folder here. Okay, if you rename this, you can rename it whatever you want. But eventually, when um, when it gets built, it's going to create this the folder, the name of your project, and then it's also going to uh, put a distribution folder in here, and this is what's actually being deployed. Okay, so that's the setup on disk here, and I also want to show you one other thing uh, in my GitHub repos. So this is GitHub here. Let me expand this, and let's look at this repo here. Um, and if you click in here, you'll notice that um, I've just got the config and the readme from what I showed you. And so like there's a lot of ignores that I pushed in here. So I didn't have to put all of those files um, that actually gets pushed out. The only thing that I'm really getting is the files inside of this distribution folder. Everything else is added to my get ignore so that I don't have a, a kind of a, a bloated um, repo here. So I just have the things necessary to make this run. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, ask, feel free to ask questions inside of our, our comment and like this video um, as, as we go along. But let's keep going here. Okay, so now that we've got GitHub set up, I'll move that over. Let's look at what we're building here. Okay, so I've got 
a site here that's already deployed um, with Netlify, and I've set up a custom domain. It's fizzbuzz.coderfinder.com, and you can go and look at it. And right now, currently, it's just the sample app from um, the templates right off of Visual Studio. And I added my own FizzBuzz. So like, added my own little application here and you know what FizzBuzz is. If you wanna learn how to build this, um, just hit our YouTube channel, we've got a video on it. And so you can see here, it's got FizzBuzz. What I wanna do is, and, is change it. And so now I'm gonna create a brand new site. And you can see here, this is running out of Visual Studio right now. And I'm gonna take off the, um, the links from the projects that you get from the templates. I'm going to change the home page. I'm going to add the video here, and this is the video you can build it. And this will be the video here that'll show you actually the video you're watching now. All right. And so like, um, and then FizzBuzz here is still in here. So like, uh, that's kind of what I want to do. So I wanted these changes to be published to my Netlify site. Okay. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. And so let's look at Netlify real quick. So if you're not sure what Netlify is, it's just a, um, a way to host static sites. So I'm gonna log in here. And you can see here, I have a couple of sites in here and one of them is fizzbuzz.coderfoundry.com. And I wanna show you the settings. It's pretty simple, but pay close attention to what I'm gonna show you because um, this can trip you up, all right? So I'm gonna click on site settings here. And you can see here in the site settings, I've got all this set up and um, it said it's deployed. Not too much to see in here, okay? And then I wanna to go to my deploys and here you can see where it's deployed. And you can see where I was testing this um, as I got through and I finally got a publish that worked, okay? So I'm gonna go through all the problems that, um, that I had, all right? But if you click on deploy settings, this is where you can attach a repo. And so you can see here, I am attached to github.com slash cutter founder fizzbuzz deploy. Um, if you know about Netlify, you can hit it with Bitbucket. Um, and so, and other types of repos, I'm using GitHub, okay? We also have another video that goes in depth on how to set up your projects. And what I'm showing you here today is how do I set this up specifically for deploying a Blazor site, okay? So it's pointing to that repo we just went over in GitHub, the deploy repo. And the base directory, I didn't set that. The build command, I don't have any build commands here because currently right now, Netlify cannot build a Blazor project, okay? Now here's where the magic happens. I point it to the directory. And so this is fizzbuzzblazor slash dist, or short for distribution. This is so it knows what folder to look for the files it's going to deploy, okay? And this is, um, if you look through some different articles, it's not entirely clear how you do this all the time. And it's also not entirely clear to some people like what folder do I point it at, okay? So if we go back over here one more time and we look at GitHub, you can see here I've got deploy, and this is my root, and then I've got this folder in here. And a lot of people make the mistake of doing it at this level when it's actually at this level, okay? And so you need Fizzbuzz Blazor slash dist, okay? I'm going over that a couple of times because um, a couple of sites I went to weren't, weren't very clear on that and it didn't work. And you know, once you deploy it, you can't really see what it's looking at on disk. So it's really hard to tell what's going on. So that is the magic there and everything else remains the same. You take all of the standard, all of the, um, you take all of the settings as they're at the, the defaults. So um, nothing to change here. Um, there's a lot more to Netlify that allows you to do things, but let's just focus on getting this to deploy, okay? So that is a review of Netlify. So let's actually publish this and show you how it works, okay? So right now, currently, our site looks like this. This, as you can see, is the production. And I wanna get this new version um, out to Netlify. So let's do that, okay? So the first thing I need to do is, is go back into Visual Studio. And um, I've got my published settings here, and I'm going to publish this. And watch what happens, okay? So you can see down here at the bottom, it's doing a build. 
It's going to take a couple of seconds here to do the build, and then it's going to push those files into um, that, that folder I have set up. And this is why you also can't, um, can't do this directly from Netlify because this build step must take place. Okay. And you can see here that we are, our build is complete. Okay. So if I go to my client GitHub desktop, let me pull that over here. Now it's detected my changes and it, and you can see here, um, I'm just tracking the files that I need. It's got some new files in here that's going to be pushed to my master. And um, you can see now, you can see the bin folder where it pushed the new DLLs out there. Okay. And so these are all the changes. And so what I can do is I am going to put a comment here and I'm going to put um, version 4. Okay. I'm going to add a little description here, added a new home page. And then I'm going to push commit to master. And then I've got one push and I'm going to push this up to the server and GitHub. So take a second to push and it's done. Okay. So now what's going on here is if I go back, I'm going to kill this. All right. And now I'm looking at fizzbuzz.coder founder. So let's look at Netlify. And also I can set up notifications with Netlify if I want to, but right now I just want to show it to you on the website so you can um, better see what's going on here. I'm looking here. And you can see right here, version four has been published. It's already done. This happens extremely quick. And so if I refresh this, we should see our new version. It's going to load it. And voila, check this out. So um, it pushed it and pulled it straight from Git. And the compile has already happened because we did that first inside of Visual Studio. Um, I really think that's cool. And I really, really think that uh, pushing this out um, using... Um, GitHub is really neat for continuous deployment and it really helps doing that. The other thing that's really cool about this is that I'm actually running C Sharp in the browser and I'm hosting it on a, a serverless or a static site like Netlify. This means you could also push this to Amazon, you could push it to Azure, you can push it to a multitude of places. So you may be asking yourself a question is where do we go from here? Well, if you're into the deployment game, then you know that what I just did from all these UIs can also be scripted with something like PowerShell. Um, the publish command is a, is a uh, com it can be run from the command line as well as the git can be run from the command line too. So you don't have to go through the UIs. Um, it's, but I wanted to show you from the UI so you could see what's going on. So as you can see here, it's all functional. It's all great. And that's really, really cool in my opinion. Well, I hope this helps. And if you've got any questions about Netlify or Blazor or WebAssembly, we'd love to interact with you in the comments. We hope you subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more great content. But I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.